So this is lime leaves. If you can see, there are small types of lime. And this lime, it's especially for cooking because it has much more stronger flavor than the normal lime itself. So they are small. And the fruits, it's uh, smaller than this. The fruit of this uh, cooking lime leaves is smaller than this. And it has a different uh, taste. It's a bit like exotic uh, taste. <laughs> But of course, I can't compare because both of them have really, how to say, drooling taste <laughs> to be tried and to be put in everything. I mean, like this one you can make for juice, but this small one only can make for like um, Asian salad or um, sambal, we call it, or chili sauce and tomato and chili salad, something like that. Then it's really strong, especially the leaves. For cooking, look, the leaves are smaller. We call it in Indonesia, we call it belimbing, just like that. That's it. Mm, so good. Hmm, can't wait to have my fish soup. <laughs> so actually it's dark because uh, at the noon I uh, harvest the lime and everything but then I didn't cook yet so now I'm gonna get the last thing which is the turmeric. I'm getting it fresh so let's dig in. <laughs> I found one big one here at the first uh, turmeric and actually it's easy because only on top look big <laughs> Now, let's get into the main cooking. Let's get started. Soft garlic, onion, shallots, and the yellow one is turmeric. And next to it, it's galango, lemongrass, tomatoes, chilies, and lime leaves. So, I'm gonna blend them smoothly. And this is the tomatoes and basil picked from the garden. A bit of uh, ginger here. I'm gonna just crush it and the limbing or star fruit, sour one, and the spring onions. So, this one gonna be use it later. This one for blender them. Okay, let's get started. I already blended it, but then I forgot to put the candle nuts. So, let's do the last fun of a blender <laughs> It was a lot of seasoning, so I give this for the next recipe. So no waste!
I'm squeezing the lime in. I'm just adding one. You can add as much as you like. The more sour, the more truly. <laughs> I'm adding a pinch of salt with love. Pepper. Coriander powder. Look at the color, it's so beautiful and I can't wait. <laughs> Just to let you know that my food, it's healthy cooking, without sugar, without emesis, and without flour. So, you can eat as much as you like. Super healthy. So, we're adding the last bit, which is sour fruit, best leaves, some spring onions, and also the fresh tomatoes. Just stir fry it for 5 minutes or so, so keep the freshness and the flavor alive. Look at that, so beautiful and I promise you it's so delicious right now. I'm smelling it and oh, I just can't wait to dig in. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching and I hope you like the recipe and if you ever try this delicious fish recipe at home, please come back to let me know how it tastes. Stay healthy and stay around for more.